Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today you are going to see a real life day in the life. Get ready with me. I'm just getting ready to activate action mode, Amanda. What you're seeing right now is comfy mode, Amanda. And you know, both of these Amandas exist equally, but right now we're trying to make the switch. I'm going to go out to dinner with my family. So you can see here, I'm getting crazy and pre-gaming with a Coke Zero. And this is what I look like. I am hanging out in my yoga pants or yogurt pants, as my son likes to say, and my pickle t-shirt and my crazy unbrushed hair, which just is always in my mom bun and my comfy slippies. But I'm going to actually transform from comfy mode, Amanda. And I just like to start off by showing you what the starting point is. This is what I look like. This is my normal human skin that is flawed and my non-glamorous outfits. And this is just, this is real life. This is real life me. It's what we all look like sometimes. And you know, you need to have unglamorous moments. I have plenty of them. And I just want you to know that it's okay if you have unglamorous moments too, because we all have crinkles and spots and speckles and lazy comfy pants and and that's okay that's actually better than okay that's great I love that for all of us I had kind of an idea of what I wanted my makeup to look like which isn't always the case I would say it's usually not the case usually I'm just winging it I know which products I want to use or which palettes I want to use or whatever but I just sort of go on vibes only but today I knew that I wanted to wear this really rusty bronzy brown eye look because I knew what I wanted to wear and I wanted to match a little bit my eyeshadow to my outfit. I've been wearing this e.l.f. camo hydrating CC cream non-stop since I got it. I know I've talked about it so much between my haul, my wear test, my favorites, my product ranking from but here's the proof for you. This is what I'm wearing every single day, even when I'm just going out to hang out and have some dinner and play some board games and stuff with my family. That's what we ended up doing this evening that you're seeing me getting ready for. We went to a local burger and brewery type place and played a bunch of board games and ate french fries and it was super fun. <laughs> so that's my that's me going out to party most of the time is me hanging out with my family and eating french fries and drinking a beer and losing to a nine-year-old at a bunch of board games. <laughs> and my beloved ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer never fails me. I have gone through probably half a dozen tubes of this concealer. I don't finish up products like that very often, but this is just such a staple for me and Another product that I mentioned in my January favorites is this Singe Beauty Concealer Brush. It's just so quick and so easy. I love when my base application is really quick and easy, but also ends up just looking very flawless. I say skin-like, but I don't have flawless skin, so I'll say both flawless and skin-like. It's not terribly warm here, even though I don't live in a frigid, snowy winter place. It's still pretty cool, and at nighttime, definitely, I would say qualifies as cold. But I wanted to do just a little light powdering, just in a couple of spots where I didn't want my concealer to crease or smudge off or anything like that. Not that that's typically a problem, but you know, a little bit of this MAC Next to Nothing powder really locks everything in and it's just completely translucent and light. It doesn't get too matte and too cakey on my dry skin. I think the Next to Nothing line has been discontinued, which is so sad because this is one of my absolute favorite setting powders. Then I decided to go for a little ColourPop Glossy Lip Stain. This is another staple for me. I think this is the shade Sugar Snapped. I'll double check and I'll list all the shade names down in the description box for you. I was just 
really in the zone of getting ready to go out and I decided on a whim to film the process because I like to show you my real life get ready with me is not just the tutorials for YouTube type of get ready with me videos if that makes sense maybe there's no distinction between those things in your mind and sometimes in my life there's not a distinction between those things I definitely am going out and about wearing the makeup that you see applied in videos but sometimes I am doing my makeup not for a video and that's what this would have been but I just decided to click on the camera because why the heck not that's why it's all voiceover that's why I didn't film a little intro and outro and bloopers and all that stuff this is genuinely me just really quickly getting ready and I happen to click on the camera because I think it's fun to see these products in action like real life living which is again not to say that other videos aren't real it's just different when I'm intending to film content I'm making sure I'm using the new stuff that I'm supposed to be reviewing and I'm making sure that I'm taking time to explain things and swatch things and I really try to focus on what's new that you might want to see whereas for this type of thing, when I'm just getting ready for a day in the life, I'm either A, just grabbing what's around, or B, I'm going back to those old staple favorites that aren't really going to draw a lot of viewers as far as the YouTube algorithm goes, but they're just my favorite things that I always use. And I also thought it would be fun to show you me choosing my outfit because I had a basic idea of what I wanted to wear but I wasn't quite sure how I was going to style it so when I'm in that situation I will just try on a couple of different options and see what feels comfortable what feels right and you know what seems like it's going to be good for the occasion so I wanted to show you that process too because that is really how I choose my outfits. That's how I get ready. So I thought that would be fun to share. As is typical for me, you're going to see me mixing newer products that I'm testing for review, like the e.l.f. camo CC cream, the e.l.f. camo liquid blush, paired with these older favorites that I've had for a while like the House Labs bronzer, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I'm gonna do the same thing with the eyeshadow. I'm going to pull shades from a newer palette that I'm in the process of using for reviews and I pull in one of my favorite shades from an older beloved staple type of palette. So I'm going to walk you through my eyeshadow look. Now I did have a vision of loosely what I wanted my eye look to be because I have a new top that I wanted to wear. So I was kind of trying to match that because I'm in the process of testing this unearthly fall magic palette and this shade Spice is very very similar in color to the top that I was going to wear so I thought it would be cute to have a little matchy matchy moment and as I was doing this eyeshadow I realized that I haven't really worn a warm neutral eye look in so long I think I've been going for a lot more cool tones I think I've been going for a lot more grays and I happen to wear a lot of pink eyeshadow over the past couple of weeks which isn't necessarily my personal favorite but it was just heavily featured in some of the palettes that I was using and I just like to always be switching it up. I love trying out different colors, different color combinations and it's nice to kind of go back to basics a little bit here because for the longest time I was just that warm neutral eyeshadow lover. I think a lot I think a lot of people start there and so it was fun to create a look like that that I haven't done in a while and I definitely went a little bit more smoky and vampy. I do think I'm in a more vampy 
deep smoky eyeshadow era than I have been. I just have found those looks to be really fun and flattering and I guess I'm leaning into the winter darkness that I'm experiencing right now, especially in the evenings. This was a later evening that we were going out, hence why I was pre-gaming with a caffeinated drink because this old lady does start to get tired and we were leaving the house at like seven o'clock so it was definitely gonna be out and about later than I'm usually out now I will stay up late at my house I am kind of a night owl but I typically am home and in my cozy clothes and in my comfy pants well before seven o'clock on a usual day. By the way, this shade Mischief from the Tarte Maneater Nightfall palette was the perfect shimmer that I needed. I found myself wishing for something that was a little bit more bronzy and I just didn't get that from the Fall Magic palette. But I did go back and pull one of these pinky shimmers. The shimmers are very colorful. They're super pretty. I like them. They just weren't giving me what I wanted for this particular look that I had envisioned. But I did go back and add just a little bit of pop of pink on that inner corner. Look, I have been doing so much pink eyeshadow lately. I guess it's that February Valentine's spirit creeping up on me or something. I do plan on doing a little review and tutorial video featuring this Unearthly Fall Magic palette as well as the Dreamer palette. I just haven't finished that video yet, but I have been working on looks and testing the palette as you can see in real life here. But overall, I have a very favorable impression of both of these palettes. Now, before I show you my finished makeup look, let me remind you of what I looked like before in my cozy clothes. And here's the base outfit that I was starting off with. I have these dark denim. They're not quite black jeans. They're grayish black, I guess. They're not solid, but they're so soft and they're so comfortable and they fit me perfectly. I love these jeans and I paired them with this spice colored bodysuit and my daisy printed boots. That was my base outfit and then I was kind of trying to pair different bags and sweaters and coats and stuff with this outfit to spice it up a little bit but I definitely didn't want to be very turn the volume up type of look. I wanted to be cozy and comfy but I wanted to be I wanted to be a little bit cute too. So these are my two outfit options that I was going back and forth with. This long denim coat that I'm wearing in the first look is so cool. I don't think you can get it anymore, but it's from Levi's. It's the upside downable jacket, so it could be worn in two different ways and it looks totally different so I'm obsessed with this denim jacket it's just so interesting and cool I paired that with a really neutral woven crossbody bag for my other outfit option I have this awesome checkered sweater and this is the spoiler alert this is the one I ended up going with and I already had all of my stuff in my Speedy. This is my everyday bag. It fits so much stuff. I got snacks in there. There's just so much room for activities. So I liked the play on the checker print on the bag, matching the sweater in pattern, but matching my bodysuit in color. Maybe that's reading in a little bit too much, but this is the one I ended up going with. I liked the way both of these looked, but because that upside downable jacket is such a dark wash denim, it looked like it was trying to be the same color as the dark wash jeans, but that I just was mismatched. It wasn't enough contrast for me, but I do love that jacket. I think I just need to use my lighter wash version of those straight leg jeans when I wear it so that it's very clearly not matchy matchy denim. 
I will link everything down in the description box if you're interested in checking out any of the stuff that I was wearing or seeing the shades of the makeup that I chose. This is my finished look. I did not get a full picture. Like I said, I was just going out hanging out with my family so I wasn't really doing a photo shoot or anything other than the <laughs> awkward in the mirror in my bedroom photos that I took but you know sometimes you got to be awkward in the mirror in your bedroom and that's just real life. <laughs> I know that this was very casual, very informal, but I hope that it was fun and I appreciate you watching and I just want you to know that I love your face and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Okay, bye!